A giant iceberg twice the size of Luxembourg has broken off an ice shelf on the Antarctic Peninsula and is now adrift in the Weddell Sea. Reported to be hanging by a thread last month, the trillion-ton iceberg was found to have split off from the Larsen Sea segment of the Larsen Ice Shelf. On Wednesday morning after scientists examined the latest satellite data from the area, the Larsen Sea ice shelf is more than 12% smaller in area than before the iceberg broke off, or calved an event that researchers say has changed the landscape of the Antarctic Peninsula and left the Larsen sea ice shelf at its lowest extent ever recorded. Graphic, it is a really major event in terms of the size of the ice tablet that we've got now drifting away, said Anna Hogg, an expert in satellite observations of glaciers from the University of Leeds. At 5,800 square km the new iceberg, expected to be dubbed A68, is half as big as the record-holding iceberg B15 which split off from the Ross Ice shelf in the year 2000, but it is nonetheless believed to be among the 10 largest icebergs ever recorded. The huge crack that spawned the new iceberg grew over a period of years, but between 25 May and the, the 31st of May alone, the rift grew by 17 kilometers, the largest increase since January. Between the 24 June and the 27th of June, the movement of the ice sped up, reaching a rate of more than 10 meters per day for the already severed section. But in the end it wasn't a simple break, data collected just days before the iceberg calved revealed that the rift had branched multiple times. We see one large iceberg, for now, it is likely that this will break into smaller pieces as time goes by, said Adrian Luckman, professor of glaciology at Swansea University and leader of the UK's Midas Project, which is focused on the state of the ice shelf. Adrian Luckman, at Adrian underscore Luckman, the Larsen Sea Rift, opening over the last two years from hash sentinel one pictwittercom slash mt93 ha1 on January 31st, 2017 Unlike thin layers of sea ice, ice shelves are floating masses of ice, hundreds of meters thick, which are attached to huge, grounded ice sheets. These ice shelves act like buttresses, holding back and slowing down the movement into the sea of the glaciers that feed them. There is enough ice in Antarctica that if it all melted, or even just flowed into the ocean, sea levels would rise by 60 meters, said Martin Siegert, professor of geosciences at Imperial College London and co-director of the Grantham Institute for Climate Change. Might look dramatic, experts say it will not itself result in sea level rises. It's like your ice cube in your gin and tonic, it is already floating and if it melts it doesn't change the volume of water in the glass by very much at all, said Hogg. Following the collapse of the more northerly Larsen A ice shelf in 1995 and Larsen B in 2002, all eyes have turned to Larsen C but Seagrid is quick to point out that the calving of the new iceberg is not a sign that the ice shelf is about to disintegrate, stressing that ice shelves naturally break up as they extend further out into the ocean. I am not unduly concerned about it, it is not the first mega iceberg ever to have formed, he said. Andrew Shepard, professor of Earth Observation at the University of Leeds, agreed. Everyone loves a good iceberg, and this one is a corker, he said. But despite keeping us waiting for so long, I'm pretty sure that Antarctica won't be shedding a tear when it's gone because the continent loses plenty of its ice this way each year, and so it's really just business as usual. Luckman said that while the Larsen Sea ice shelf might continue to shed icebergs, it might regrow. Nevertheless, previous research by the team has suggested that the remaining ice shelf is likely less stable now that the iceberg has calved, although it is unlikely the event would have any short-term effects. We will have to wait years or decades to know what will happen to the remainder of Larsen. 
See, he said, pointing out that it took seven years after the release of a large iceberg from Larsen b before the ice shelf became unstable and disintegrated. Q. Larsen C. Megaberg. Show height in terms of size, it's fairly big. This is a 5,800 square km iceberg. That's twice the size of Luxembourg, or roughly the area of Delaware. While that doesn't make it the largest iceberg on record, that gong goes to an iceberg that broke away from the Ross Ice Shelf in 2000. It is one of the biggest. It is also exciting for the technological advances that have allowed scientists to regularly track the development of the rift, monitoring its growth down to one kilometer resolution. But in terms of its impact, the event is less dramatic. The iceberg itself won't result in a sea level rise, and scientists say there is no evidence its formation is down to climate change. But, they note, the release of the iceberg might make the rest of the Larsen Sea Ice Shelf less stable. Collapse of the Larsen Sea Ice Shelf would remove buttressing from glaciers, meaning they could flow faster into the sea, eventually resulting in sea level rises. Only time will tell what the full impact of the birth of the new iceberg will be. Was this helpful? Thank you for your feedback. What's more, Luckman stressed that while large melt ponds were seen on Larsen B prior to its collapse, features which are thought to have affected the structure of the ice shelf, those seen on Larsen C are far smaller and are not even present at this time of year. And while climate change is accepted to have played a role in the wholesale disintegration of the Larsen and Larsen B ice shelves, Luckman emphasized that there is no evidence that the calving of the giant iceberg is linked to such processes. Twyla Moon, a glacier expert at the U.S. National Ice and Snow Data Center, agrees, but, she said, climate change could have made the situation more likely. Certainly the changes that we see on ice shelves, such as thinning because of warmer ocean waters, are the sort of changes that are going to make it easier for these events to happen, she said. Luckman is not convinced. It is a possibility, but recent data from the Scripps Institute of Oceanography actually show most of the shelf thickening, he said. The progress of the rift, and the loss of the iceberg, has been carefully followed by analysis of radar images from the European Space Agency's Sentinel-1 mission, which provides data from the region every six days. Before we would have been lucky if we had got one satellite image a year of an event like this, so we would not have been able to watch it. Unfold, said Hogg, pointing out that the radar system allows data to be collected whatever the weather and in the dark, while technological advances mean more data that can be downloaded than for previous satellites. CPOM News, at cpalm underscore news, smoking gun, the hashtag Larsink Iceberg has broken free. At Isa underscore Rio at Boss underscore News at Nerk Science hash Sentinel 1 pic dot Twitter dot com slash 9JM 47BC 9 Psi July 12th 2017 The news of the giant iceberg comes after U.S. President Donald Trump announced that the U.S. will be withdrawing from the 2015 Paris Climate Accord, an agreement signed by more than 190 countries to tackle global warming. Truly I am dismayed, said Moon of the move. Now at the mercy of the ocean currents, the newly calved iceberg could last for decades, depending on whether it enters warmer waters or bumps into other icebergs or ice shelves.